Please prepare for the memorial service. Esto estaba en vivo. La gente escribía en el chat. Thank you, Ty, for bringing, for being so completely all you taught. Decía uno. Well, we will still have an element of him. Gracias. Namaste. When did he die? We are here. Oh, okay, no problem. Thank you for the... What a beautiful... There are 1,000 watching, crying because death. Great soul passed. Dear Thai Thich Nhat Han has died. Thank you so much. Peace to you. Peace in transition. Mm.
se me olvidó traer algo urgente de la oficina para Silvia y me regañó. Me trajiste cosas de la oficina. No, Javi, no, Jairo. Entonces, lo traigo ya. Voy a recoger. ¿Por qué no? Entonces, mañana. No, yo voy, lo recojo mañana. Yo. No, no quiero que vayas. Yo voy, tú te quedas con mi mamá. Mm. ¿Traíste arepas? Uh -uh. Es que por eso es que no te concentras, Jairo. Esto es una enfermedad tuya. ¿Mm? Esa es tu enfermedad. No le pones atención a nada sino a ese estúpido celular. ¿Mm? ¿Mm? Shifu de Upaya Zen Center. Ay, 
stand and reign and call to you with hearts open wide with gratitude, radiating out from your home temple in the heart of Hue to the north and the south of Vietnam to the place where sides were not and will not be chosen. Thank you for your teaching, for your presence, for 80 years of engaged practice, encouragement, creativity, poetry, writing, dedication, walking in the rain until we were soaked wet and ready to keep going lifetime after lifetime with you. The path of return, the path of continuation, the path of gratitude, the only humble and wholehearted gift we offer you tonight is our continuous practice, lifetime after lifetime. We honor you. We thank you. We join you. We hold you in our living hearts. One of the many beautiful teachings that Thai has gifted us is the teaching that one Buddha is not enough. That the manifestation of the next Buddha is the Sangha. As you might suspect, I have a lot of emotions right now. have sadness. I also have a lot of joy, a lot of gratitude, because it's so clear to me that the Buddha is manifesting here through the Sangha. I'm so grateful be with and among Thai students who have absorbed and transmitted these beautiful teachings of engagement. Love and action, compassion, understanding. Thank you so much, Thai. for your manifestation in this world. Thank you for your ancestors who allowed your life to come forward. Thank you for the descendants, the students. I'm so grateful. I offered a contemplation that I wanted to share with you. The contemplation of no coming and no going. So we've been talking about the relative and the absolute. So these are the times for us to the contemplation on the coming and going. This body is not me. I am not limited to this body. My life, I am life without boundaries. 
I have never been born. And I have never died. Look at the ocean. And the sky. Hail blue stars. Manifestations from my wonders through mind. Since before time, I have been free. Birth and death are only doors through which we pass. Sacred thresholds on our journey. Birth and death are a game of hide and seek. So laugh with me. Hold my hand. Let us say goodbye. Say goodbye. Until we meet again. We meet today. We will meet again tomorrow. We will meet at the source every moment. We meet each other in all our forms of life. In the summer of 1990, I went to Plum Village and my teacher had just died. I was crazy with grief. And I got to ask Ty, what should I do? What, I, I'm going crazy. And he said, I was friends with him and he always promised to come to Plum Village. He never got here, but he got here now. He said, you can find him right here in the birds, the clouds, the sky. He is with us now. It took me a long time to digest that. But it's, I know a lot of people are in full of grief around Ty's death. But at least it's a direction to go to. So thank you, Ty so many things. Thank you, Wendy. Mallory. Yeah. No, I met uh, Ty in the mid-60s when he was at Columbia. And, um, I just never realized being a social activist that you could also be a contemplative. And he watered the seeds in my heart about the importance of being responsible for the world and caring for the world and the things of this world. And Oh my God. I didn't become a student for like for 20 years after that. And then uh, I found myself in 85 in Plum Village and realized that um, I needed a kind of practice that had uh, less anxiousness and anger. It was really startling to see that. And his world grew. Matt and Wendy and I were in Plum Village together, scrabbling around, <laughs> trying to uh, eat, behave. Uh, everybody there was so good, <laughs> except us. <laughs> And I think some of us always felt like bulls in the China shop, you know what I'm saying? We were just kind of clothed in his hermitage and throw ourselves about like a little laundry. And I don't know how he put up with us, but he did. And now he shed his body. 
and his world will be carried on as Valerie said and Wendy and also Matt. The book is the summer. Yes. A lot of people. Exactly what Dr. King said. Exactly the time. And like Valerie, I have this uh, mix in my heart. On one side, the sadness that he is gone from this physical plane, but on the other, joy for all he gave us. You did not hold back time, ever. And um, what Noah said, we are now responsible for our bad legacy. What it means to be a peacemaker in our own hearts and minds and in the world, which is really fraught. And we are born at a time when peacemaking is really essential. It is so really so I thank each one of you for your practice and also the history that my daughter and my sisters, the elders here, uh, that we have shared, laughed over, been frustrated by, and learned from. And we will continue to learn a little bit from them. Dear God. Now chant the Heart Sutra very slowly, and first you will offer the first incense after the, the first line, and then we'll all go up in pairs and offer incense during the chant. Maga.
Instructions on breathing is so important. The first exercise is uh, in out. It means uh, breathing in. I know that I'm breathing in. Breathing out. I know that I'm breathing out. This is a very important practice. When you breathe in, you know that uh, this is your in breath and not your out breath. You identify your in breath 
as in breath. And when you breathe out, you know that this is your out breath. Only that. But it is a very important uh, practice. This is the first exercise on breathing that the Buddha gives to us. When we practice like that, something wonderful happens. Since we pay attention only to our in-breath and out-breath, and identify them as in-breath and out-breath, we stop the thinking. And this is a, a miracle already, because in our daily life we think too much. And because we think too much, uh, we are not uh, truly ourselves. Our body may be here, but our mind may be elsewhere, in the past, in the future, uh, in China. And therefore, when you breathe in and out and become aware of your in-breath and out-breath, you stop the thinking and you begin to be where your body is. Our body and our mind are very often separated from each other. And in between, we have our breath. And the moment when we uh, hold our breathing and breathe in and out consciously, breathing in, I calm my body, breathing out, I smile, our body and our mind will become one.